hi there, Timos, and we are back with Bleed the Third Phantom, and it's a plotting episode with a nice little surprise at the end that I'm sure you perfects will enjoy or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if we'll get that far. Hey, Ichigo, how many times do I have to tell you? No, you listen to me. I told you to follow my moves. Why do I have to listen to everything you say? Wait, are they trying to fusion dance or something? Like, what would it matter for precision? Why don't you listen? What are you fighting, all of our friends? From the sound of it, Uyo and Ichigo must be right around here somewhere, but I can't see them. Are they in the trees? Watch this! Get to Tensho! Blast. You idiot! What are you aiming at? Yeah, what is he aiming at? Oh. Please. Please tell me that's not gonna hit. Huh? Incoming! Oh, Jesus. I died. Rest in peace, Ray Fudo. Or Kudo. Whatever the hell the last name is. It's either an F or a K. Are you alright? No, I'm not. That was literally his signature attack in the goddamn show. I... You know what? F it. I'm okay. I want a day without healings. Sorry, who do you won't do what I told him to, so you blast it off a giant blast for no reason. Don't blame me, your attack lack any kind of... Yeah, I, I can vouch for that. I can vouch for that. They don't mesh with my fighting style. Yeah, one's a hold style, one's a brute force into the speed force kind of style. Not speed force as in DC Comics, but like, he starts out with brute force, and then he just swaps into the speed related mode where he just dodges everything and hits back with everything that he has, kind of. Why don't you both just... That's it, I quit. I'm not trying to train with you anymore. I'm uh, pretty sure he prefers solo training. I was doing you a favor here. I'm going home. <laughs> That's fine by me. How are you two even friends? You don't get along. Is that really what you want? I was training by myself in the first place. Then Ichigo came along and insisted that I join him. That was... Thoughtful of him. Selfish of him. I'm gonna say... Yeah... Granted, I'm more an introvert myself. Selfish of him. I mean, dude, if somebody trains alone by themselves, perfectly fine. Don't bug them! You're, you're like, inhibiting their growth. Inhibiting, is that the word? No, restraining their growth. It's easy to misunderstand Ichigo if you don't know him. What? Misunderstand him how? Ichigo's actions, though they may come across as random, are usually intended for some kind of greater good. Are you... Sh hold on. I just took a get to Tencho to my face. Explain the good in that. No. Really? Do it. Come on. No? None of it? Okay, didn't think so. Is that so? Unfortunately, that isn't always the result. I see. So that's how it is. Me getting blasted in the face wasn't a good thing. Who would have thunk it? Oive. Affinity with Udio went up. Well, I got my two pointer across, and I should really upgrade my team attack things. God damn it. Free item! It's the reaction potion. What the hell's that? Whatever, you need a three pointer. What was the new thing with Udio? Odd friendship. Oh yeah, that's that's like an understatement. And uh, discount, and then I can probably do shit. Do I really want the discount though? I don't really care for the discount too much, to be fair. I mean, I got a, a massive variety of things I can do. Uh, I guess the point is to get as many as you can in, but really, I don't care about a lot of the characters that I get to chill with because I got my team picked out. Uh, okay, okay. I do this, get my training partner, or I do Ichigo vs. Biakia, or I give you guys your little, your thing, beforehand, and then do I have a one-pointer to get the stab boost? No, I don't think I do. I do. I do. It's right there. But do I really want to use it now? Maybe it might come in handy later. Eh, F it. I don't give a shit. One, two, three, four, and then one. Okay. And that's the Von pointer with this. Or even the Biakia one. That works too. Perfect. We got this. Alright, we can get... You guys know what this is. Rangiku Matsumoto. <laughs> Alright. I probably should get in a little more training. Yes! Woman scream. Not doing it. Was that... A scream? Obviously what it was was it was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't know Rangiku would be here. Look at her, she's just like sulking in the water. Wait a minute, Rangiku. I just want to check to see how you're coming along. 
Oh, Rukia, she's flat, get it? So she's like totally upset at this situation where she's surrounded by Rangiku and Orihime. <laughs> oh, poor Rukia. Don't value yourself by just that. You could be a, you're a very powerful, um, what do you call it, medic? And what, what's the other one? Keto user? Yeah. No, oh, poor Rukia, it even shows a picture, even though she's trying to hide under the water. How is she breathing? How do you breathe underwater? Oh, Orihime, you're no ordinary human. There are few women in the territory, uh, Serate, who can compete with this. You mean low, Rengiku? I think this counts as harassment. Yep. Step oh, poor Rukia. I'm feeling a little left out here. Oh, Rukia. Rukia has nice skin too. Thank you, Rengiku, for thinking of Rukia. But they must have some really nice soap at the Kuchiki residence. They probably do. They'd be rich and whatnot. Soap? I just use whatever's around. Yeah. How lucky for you. Do you think you could give me some? Really? You, you're talking about soap? Soap? Okay. Whatever. <coughs> Poor Rukia. Oh, I didn't know Orihime and the gang were here. Wait a minute. This is my training ground. What the hell are they doing at my training? Okay, Yoruichi's training ground. A technic... I... I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna... Yikes, how long do I plan staring? Plan on staring? I mean, Rengiku couldn't sense spiritual pressure if it was like, you know, life or death. Or he may doesn't really sense spiritual pressure unless it's like, you know, hollows or something scary. And Rukia is probably preoccupied trying to suffocate herself because she's left out. I don't think either of them are paying attention to me. I don't mind lingering a little longer, but no, I better get going. Honestly, they wouldn't detect you either way. I'm just being realistic here. Now, if that was Unahana... Oh, wait, that already happened. Darp. Please don't get the... Oh, thank you. Alright, now we just gotta get... One pointer. So, Byakuya appears. Not entirely sure why. I don't want to use him. He's, again... Byakuya and Ichigo are very overpowered. One's got massive speed that can jump from point A to point... B, C, D, A, every other point and back, because extremely high movement, movement speed and evasiveness. Meanwhile, Byakuya isn't much to move, but, you know, if you're in his general 1 to 5 points or blocks around him, he's gonna be, uh, do his Bankai, and his Bankai is AoE. It hits everything, and it holds them in place. So, uh, generally, really, really powerful, especially against massive numbers of enemies. Boy, the Suzunami house doesn't even compare. Yeah, being poor does that to ya. Of course not. This is probably the most lavish residence in all of Sirite. Shut up, Renji. Why do you even get to live there? He probably doesn't. So Rukia lives in a place like this. Thanks for coming. Come on in. Is the captain here too? Yeah, I think he's in his room. Oh, that's right. You live with the captain. That sounds boring. You used to live in the house of a captain too, didn't you? Yeah, but Renji, that was... I don't know, this is awkward. There's nothing to be worried about. My brother may seem strict, but he's really nice. I think you mean he seems strict, is strict, and he's a very... Um... Good person, but not a nice person. How do I... Like, he's... Mm, okay. He's not gonna bring you chocolates. But he'll make sure you don't get mugged. That's 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 basically Byakuya. Brother, I brought some guests. Renji Aburai and Rekudo. Kudo, that's the name. Ha! Huh. I was getting it mixed up with the main protagonist from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. You say Fudo. What's well, that's his last name, Kudo. It's one letter apart. We um uh, just wanted to pay our respects to you, Captain, because that's what we're here to do, apparently. We're here to play with Rukia. We brought shovels. We were gonna build snowmen or er, sand people. Damn it. I thought it'd be good to say hello and oh jeez, you're intimidating. Ah, I'm drawing a blank. Renji, save me. Make yourselves at home. Oh, thank you. Okay, thanks for the save, Renji, you useless mother effer. I have to go, but Rukia will be a fine host to you, I'm sure. Right. Can we play in the sandbox? I was promised a sandbox. I brought a shovel of plastic. Hey, Ray, how long did you plan on stumbling like that? I was waiting for the save, you jackass. <laughs> Couldn't help but I was nervous. Save? Anytime? No? Okay, whatever. I'm not saving you next time you get your ass kicked by the main characters who are evil. Because that's what happens. Yeah, I guess he is kind of intimidating. Then why didn't you save me, you prick? 
<clears throat> I know that's not the first time you've met him. Does it still make you- Yes. Dude's got a Bankai that wrecks everything in his presence. Also intimidating. In a different way from Lord Sagan, Kuchki's very quiet. I'm not calling him Kuchki, he ain't my captain. Mm-hmm. See, snap. I tried. And we got a stat boost, please do something cool. Ooh, my attack went up, which is great because I have a crabby attack stat, to be honest. It's not that good. Now we need a two-pointer, or if we're feeling really dumb, we could go for a not two-pointer. We're going for the two-pointer. An odd friendship. Day in squad 10. Ooh! Byakuya's heart. This is going to be um, difficult, so we'll save that. What we need right now is... Ooh, okay, hold on, hold on. Hala 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 hala. This is a four pointer, meaning two, one, two, three. No, we need a two and a three pointer, so it. Okay, okay. We gotta do this and then that. Alright, an odd friendship to get all the items. Because, you know, get all the good things. Here you go. This time I'm coming from the right. Oh boy. I'm gonna get shot. I'm gonna. Take your pick and give me your best shot, please. Don't let me get hit. So you two decided to train together after all? We did. That's right! How come? It's more natural to fight if you're not fond of your opponent. It's easier to mix it off when you're ticked off. <laughs> you guys have the weirdest of friendships ever. So basically, you know when people bang when they're pissed off at each other? This is their equivalent. Beating the hell out of each other. Why don't you spend less time howling and more time hitting? Yeah, it, you, Ichigo is probably hard to hit. He's got evasiveness and accuracy, whereas Ichigo's got HP and attack. When he hits, it lands, and when he gets hit, probably he's going to take a lot more hits. They're really going at it. Please don't let me be caught in the crossfire of their arrows and their... And their, what do you call them? Get to get tenchos? What the fuck does a get to get tencho classify as? A giant blast of energy. I'm gonna call it a fissure, or an earthquake, but it's not on the earth. Well, whatever. They're going at it, they're going at it, get to go. Oh no, you don't. You shot his arms. Ten show. He did it anyways, with shot arms. You idiot! Oh boy, he got shot in the arms. Wait, no, no, oh. I got hit again. He shot him in the arms, redirecting where it would hit. Ow, that hurt! Yeah, you got shot in the arms. I told you, you lack control, you never listen. If he's fine, didn't I get hit? You practically hit each other at the same time. A second off and you could have been killed. Oh, he shot at Getsuka Tensho. And instead of shooting him in the arms, which he already did, he shot at the Tensho and created a big boom. Because arrows build up. Like, like if you shoot one Quincy arrow, right, and then it's the same person shooting a Quincy arrow, like it's, you know, you shoot a second Quincy arrow at the same spot, they just collide and get into a little energy sphere, and then you keep shooting them until the sphere gets big enough, and something else is going to hit from the other side, well, that's two bla blasts of energy, and when, you know, anime logic dictates, when two blasts of energy collide from two separate people, they generally explode! So, it was a get to go ten show versus a lot of arrow blasts. Merp. I can't be Uryu unless I take some chances, that's very true. I had already factored in Ichigo's rashness, it was just a bit more than I anticipated. Again, smart guy versus crazy guy. You did overdo it, Ichigo, you almost hit me in the face again, you bastard. Now, it was just the opposite, I didn't do it hard enough and we ended up in a tie. Hold on, rewind, if he had gone full power... Okay, what? If either of them were not... I just want to point out that if they were not tying right now, there would be dead people. One of which would be me. I'm out of here. F this. They just keep deciding, I'm not going hard enough, I'm not going hard enough, and eventually there's going to be a nuclear explosion or something of the sort. Bye bye, crazy people. At least we get the free item, which is a fireball? No, two orbs of binding. Oh, items I haven't even heard of. Ones are for three-pointer. Hi, Chad. A training partner found. That's a three pointer, right? Yeah, that's a three pointer. Three pointer. Oh, giant arena. Who could be his training partner? Renji? Chad? A guy with a sharp sword versus a guy with a very strong right hook and a very. What? I don't get it. It's Chewbacca versus Snake Monkey Guy. You'll get the references. 
How is Renji a good training partner? Oh, hey, Chewbacca. Wanna jump in? Hell yeah! Ho ho! Do I actually get to? Oh, it's a four way! I'm happy. Okay, so Chad and Renji versus Ichigo and me. This is dumb. They're gonna get wrecked. So very wrecked. So very demolished. Annihilated. Assimilate. And that's not the word for destruction. Oh, crap. I got Renji on my side. Ugh. Now this is difficult because Chad and Ichigo actually put experience on. Renji, on the other hand, haven't used him since that obligatory uses. The time I had to use him. Oh boy. Alright, so basic walkthrough. Renji, go hide or be a meat shield. Either of the. You know, either one's fine. Me. I gotta take on Ichigao before he bankai's, otherwise I'm in trouble. And Chad's not even trouble for me, because he never, ever lands a hit. Not on me, at least. So, I'll see you guys after this little battle. It's not gonna be a big one, but it might be difficult. Because Renji's useless in this fight. Yeah, I don't think the fight could've been any easier. Uh, it, you know, I didn't realize that they were both power types, and that technique beats power. Which is one of the basics of the game that I was supposed to learn on day one. So, uh, there's that. Literally, Renji stood there just charging up the spiritual pressure in case I needed his Bankai, and, uh, I just went in the middle, stole the spiritual pressure, and, uh, I was gonna slow Katsui then, but then they weren't in range, and I didn't want to move from my one spot. So, uh, that was incredibly easy. Now what do we get? Give me the dudes, the goods. Ah! Three hidden chocolates? I don't even know. I didn't know they had chocolate and serite. That's wonderful, another round already? Uh, they heal quickly. Yeah, Chad can pretty much keep going and going and going and going. Yeah, Chad has been really known for having unearthly levels of stamina, which is weird because in the show, or uh, in the manga, he falls off and becomes absolutely useless because uh, Kishimoto writing. Haha. <laughs> oh, wait, Kishimoto is the guy who writes um, Naruto. Tite Kubo. That's the dumbass who writes Bleach. He's dumb now. Not wasn't back then. Back then. Back then. At the time of this game, he was really in it. And then he just kind of... Bleh, after the Eisen arc in my eyes. But that's just me, though. Chad's Challenge. Ichigo vs. Byakuya. Byakuya's heart. All of which are cool, but hey. Chad. I want to fight you again. Mm-hmm. Let's see who we get to fight as, or do we just fight Chad? That'd be cool. Chewbacca staring at me. Hi, Chad. Are you looking for someone to train again with? Train with again? Is anybody around? Who are you? I came to challenge you guys. Hm. You got some nerve coming in here. Okay. He comes to Squad Eleven of all the places to fight. That's a little scary. Well, let's see how it goes. I don't. Feel this is smart. I'm Ikaku Madarame, the third seed of Squad 11. Yeah. Yasutoro, Yasutoro, Yasutoro Sado. People call me Chad. How? Why? Why do they call him Chad? His name has nothing Chad related. Eh, whatever. So, the tank versus the agile, highly offensive guy. Honestly, have no idea who's gonna win. I'm impressed you're still saying. Oh wow, the highly offensive guy must have landed a lot of heavy blows. There's more where that came. Wow, Chewbacca's got his second wind. Yeah, got some muscle, but no strategy or technique. That is generally how Chewbacca, fi Chad fights, Chadbacca. Why is this going on? Why am I not involved? Fighting spirit. He passed out, but he's still standing. Who passed out? Uh, <laughs> no, looky lose here. Huh? Oh, sorry, what? Don't run off, wait! You can run, but you can't hide! Oh, trust me, I can hide. You can can't spiritual sensing for crap. And if you did, well, you wouldn't have gotten away the last time. Or the time before that. Or the time before that. Or the time before that. God, he's pretty bad at spiritual sensing. How is he captain again? It looks like it's time to put the finishing touch on your training. Really? No Bankai? Finishing touch? That's right, today we'll do what we need to do to learn your secret move. Oh. Okay. 
Is that an Iran car? The hell? What do I? What do I have an Iran car to fight? It's a tension tie. A tension tie. Tension tie. Tension tie. A special device that forces embodiment. In other words, it makes the spirit of your Zanpakuto materialize. Ooh, that's going to be scary. We will do that next time. Oh, wait, no, it's probably a fight that I'm going to have to cut out anyways. Maybe I should just do it now, then resume after the fight. You know what? I think I'll do that. You can use it to call forth your Zanpakuto. So basically, I'm going to put my sword in that. So once I call Le Rosa, what happens? Do I just magically Bankai? You fight. Oh. That sounds like a massive letdown. Honestly, my stats are pretty baller, and unless my Zanpakuto's got stats that are ballering than mine, I'm probably going to dunk them. Oh well, whatever. I haven't had a challenge in a while. Especially when you're hard to hit. So now we get to fight our blade, which... Eh, I'm expecting to be disappointed, because that's generally how... Ooh! Co-op settings, stats... Really gotta fix co-op settings for other people. Alright, whatever, I could use like, you know, 80 more points. Why do you have so many points, Ray? Because I've been saving up. I'm not gonna put them in my stats. Save it up for your sword. Which, uh, let's see what my blade becomes. Hi, blade. Why did you summon me? Because I want to know. I want to know if I'm worthy to become a soul reaper. Become worthy of you as a soul reaper. I mean, I pretty much think so. My power is too big for you to control on your own. Prove it. Yeah, I know, but you're my Zanpakuto, so your power and my power, I want them both, inside out. Wow! Context would really uh, be vital to keeping this on track. I want to know their extent of power, the extent of powers, blah, 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 blah. And thus it comes out, oh shit, Matsuri, what? Oh, hey, we're in hell again! Or, or it appears to be hell. So apparently, my power manifests in the form of the other half of the power, I guess? The one that hasn't been training as much? Why are you so surprised? My power is out of the two of you and your twin. Wonderful! The only scary part is the no eyes. That's that's actually kind of very fucking creepy. <laughs> could, you, could you just, like, you know, draw some eyes? Draw some... Not actually with a marker, but, like, drawing out the power to take form. So draw out some power to get some eyes! It can't be that damn hard! You want to gain more power, you have to be okay, beating the hell out of you. I got this. Do, 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 do. Why is it sad music? It's not actually Matsuri. It's just a clone that is... God damn it, that is weak. My Shikai, on its own, is pretty damn weak. Let me check the racing map. Racing map. Whatever, gonna beat the crap out of this clone. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.